And at least 12 people have been reportedly killed by Fulani herdsmen in 12 communities in Gwer West local government area of Benue State. According to an indigent of the area who took part in the recovery of the bodies, Loyal Ukeri, nine persons were killed in Mbapa Council Ward, while three were in Mbanduende Council Ward of the local government. Chief Nyitamen Kwacha, who narrowly escaped from the attack after his elder brother was killed. So the killer herdsmen came on motorcycles at about 4 p.m. and commenced the attack at Se Ibe, killing only men while asking women to escape with children. According to the community leader, the gunmen later moved in convoy to Kiande settlement area, killing others. No official reaction from the security operatives as they were aiding in recovering the dead bodies. We are now being joined by His Royal Highness Chief Daniel Abonse Tertuing, member of the Tiv Area Traditional Council in Benue State. Glad to have you, sir. Chief Abonse. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you well. Well, so far we hear that 12 people have been killed. Can you tell us exactly how it happened? Uh, first and foremost, the figure is underreported. 14 persons were murdered in cut blood. And that is the area where my mother comes from. And uh, I must tell you that this has been unabated beginning from February 11 to date. Members of my soldiers have been bullied, murdered in couplet, unprovoked by this killer headsman of Fulani nationality. There are fears that some persons were also abducted during the attacks. Uh, several locals were yet to be seen after the invasion. What is, what is, what is really on ground? As I'm talking to you, a search is still ongoing to discover or to unravel persons who are missing, small children, women, every young man, because the area that has been visited with this Holocaust is having a common border with Nasarawa state, which I persistently and continually describe as acts of evil. There is, there is, there is I can say there's total, you know, there's chaos in that area. We have seen corpses to the chagrin of human existence. Is this the first time this has happened in your own community? No. I earlier told you that my community is the first community to be hit by this killer man of full any nationality beginning from 8 February 2011 till date. The last attack is attack number 74 in the frequency of attacks. And the 14 persons murdered, when you add together, beginning from 2011, a total of 428 have been sent to the early graves. I wouldn't mind even giving you a breakdown of all this that has happened. Go ahead. In 2011, 55 persons were murdered. In 2012, 78 persons were murdered. In 2013, three persons were killed. In 2014, 49 persons were massacred. In 2015, three. And 2016, three. Why in 2017, no casualty was recorded. When you add the number from 2011 to 2017, you have 191. And remember, in 217, the killings that disturbed are spanning from a period of about uh, 
six, seven years, the Benue people came together. I was one among such people. I made a clarion call on the Benue State Governor. Our, ma our, our, our indefatigable governor, some of our term, to enact a law to regulate open grazing, which was done on the 22nd of May, 2017. Then, in 2018, when the Miati Alakaut and Hore vowed to resist the law in its implementation, in 2018, 85% were killed in Gwewe Square. I am the head of the traditional council. Okay, in Chief Abonse. In 2019, 35% were murdered. Chief Abonse. In 2020. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these figures are really very um, horrific to hear. I, I know from history that Tif people are warriors. Warriors. How frustrated are you and your kinsmen to find yourself in a situation such as this? This is not, we are not in a confront, in a war situation. People, these attacks are zero down sporadically and in a gorilla style. If they hit a district, let's say today, they will go far in the west. If they have hit a district in the west, they will go and hit in the north. Where you think there's no semblance of threat to peace and they will murder people in their sleep. Well, Chief um, Daniel Abonte. Um, this is how much uh, time would permit us to discuss this. Uh, we do feel um, the pains of your people. Thank you so much for your time. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.